Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sable. Today we are going to be having a look up here I think. In the last episode we managed to get a couple of masks together. I still need to like find out where to get some of the climber badges from. But other than that I think we've got most of the things we need. But for now, we're going to go check that area that's not been uncovered. See if there is something there. We're still looking for another ship as well. There's got to be a crashed ship somewhere, even though I vaguely remember now thinking... Somebody commented on my last Sable video saying I missed a ship. Damn it, I don't remember. We'll work it out. It'll be fine. Um, where is Simon? Can I fast travel to a place that is closer? Let's just fast travel to the Atomic Heart and then go across from there. Because I will have the sh my... Well, Simoon will be here straight away, hopefully. There you are. And we want to go. Let's put a marker on it. Well, I don't have any other markers floating around on my map, do I? Oh, I do. Let's get rid of that. Sweet. Let's ride. Now, I'm hoping... Everything we need is in this area we haven't been, but there's also a distinct chance I have missed quests and things in areas I've already been. I mean, Ecria is a bit of a is a bit of a maze. I'm sure there's probably something there. If I get lost and I can't find the solution to something, I, I will probably look up a hint to where to find it. Um, the only one that I know I'm probably not going to do in this series is the chums, because it would take me like you know forever just to go walk around collecting all the chums. That's not fun. I think there is a mask related to getting all of the chums. But, uh, yeah. I, I mean, who knows? I'll probably do that in my own time. It just won't be recorded if I do do it. Big ass wall. I always forget the edge of the world is just a giant wall. I wonder if this that's because this is some sort of... Terraforming. Something to do with the terraforming. It dug a hole. Ooh, wow. It dug a hole or something. That's the reason we're surrounded by a huge crater. Or we're in a huge crater, I should say. I mean, this is a lot further than I thought it was going to be. Oh, yeah, we're still going. Eventually, we'll be in a new area that we've never seen before. Wouldn't be so bad if there was stuff to look at, but it's just desert. At least a nice music will start soon. I should make it better. Anything on these rocks? I suppose I should be keeping my eyes open for chums. There's a chance we'll see them on top of the rocks and things, maybe. Or maybe on the bottom. Also, I could loot these plants and things, but we never did find a use for a lot of the butterflies and things. I kind of assumed that there was going to be a quest or something, but maybe they are literally just for selling, because we are coming up to like near the end of the game now. So, But then there might be a quest in the area I haven't been, of course. Um, that is That is always a Possibility. Oh, am I going the wrong way still? Yep, yep, keep going this way. We're almost there. This is a lot further than I thought it was. This map's a lot bigger than you'd think. I don't see any chums or anything, but I am apparently blind when it comes to these things. I'm sure I've missed loads. I don't actually know how many are in the game. I guess it's like a hundred or something. Oh, pomegranate. Excuse me. Do, 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 do. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. I don't know what I need those for, but... There's more pomegranates in there. I don't need these, but I want to pick them up anyway. There we go. Ah, where's the moon gone? There. <laughs> it vanished. If there's like other bits of the bike I can get as well. I'm, I'm interested to see what the bits we get from the whale are. That's kind of my primary objective right now. Try and find that crashed ship. It's I'll, I'll laugh if it's in the area I've already been. <laughs> that would be rather embarrassing. But wholly expected. Okay, here we go. We're coming into the new biome now. What's it going to look like? What colour is it going to be? Is it just going to be a giant sea of sand? Oh. Well, that looks promising. What's that? Is that a ship? It looks like a ship. Uh -huh. 
have to keep our eye open for a cartography balloon as well. Ooh. Oh, hello, what's that over there? It's even more of a ship, it kind of looks like a shanty town. Blimey. What the heck is this? Like a ship graveyard. Can it head for this bit that's got lights on it? If this is the same ship, it crashed. In a very unique way. No, chum chum sensors open. Can we see them? Yes, there's one right there. Ha 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 ha. I'm a genius. <laughs> it's almost like I've got used to them putting chums inside of pipes. Fifty one. see a way into this ship. Oh wait. Never mind. I don't think I've ever used the strafe. I think because the pike can strafe, but I've never done it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Trellix place? Okay. Um, a locked door. Looks like we can climb up. Another locked door. Hmm, scrap. I'll take it, even though we have the scrapper's badge. More scrap. Another chum. Okay, lots of locked doors. I guess we need to turn the power on somewhere else in this wreck. Let's see if there's any cables. Should I take the bike? <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got something caught in my throat, apparently. Yeah, let's take the bike, otherwise I'll be walking around slowly. Eyes open. It's weird how all these ships are by atomic disposal. Oh, another gem. Unless these ships were... Made to remove the nuclear fallout from the terraforming they were talking about? Hmm. This doesn't look good, does it? Don't see a way of interacting with these doors. And it doesn't look like this is actually part of the wreck. This looks like it's a it's an a solitary thing. It's like it's its own thing. Not related to the stuff that's over there. Let's have another, another quick look inside. Wait a minute, that door is unlocked. See, that's why. We well, always come back to these things. Okay, how do we get up there? There's a big box of scrap up there. Please be a way forward, and not just a box of scrap. Aha! Crawl space. Oh. Another box of scrap. More scrap? Ah, here we go, we can go into this door. To another crawl space? Eyes open. Or chums? Don't see any. Up we go. Oh, more scrap. And another crawl space. Yeah, 
Sweet. A shortcut door. Yeah, this is the main entrance, right? Yep, okay, so we still have another door on the other side, though. So what is in here? Other than scrap. We do like scrap. This is probably going to be one of those puzzles that breaks my brain, right? I don't see any batteries anywhere. A bit worrying. Considering this looks like something that requires batteries to operate. Yeah, that's gonna... Oh, there's a battery up there. What does this do? Does it turn on... Oh, bugger. Guessing that turns on... Oh, there's another battery up there. Turns on this crane thing. Ah, oh, there is a... There is a crane thing that's moving backwards and forwards. Oh, that... Oops, I fell down in here. That, I was look. I was too busy looking up. Excuse me, can I... Excuse me. Uh-oh. How do I get out of here? Jump on the pipe? There we go. Woo! Lucky. Okay. What's this? Is this powering that? It is indeed. So if I plug this in over here, what does it do? Does it turn this one on? <clears throat> oh my, definitely something caught in my throat. Oh good. I can use this one? Get over to that battery, I think. Probably I can probably stand on top of this one, to be honest. The batteries over there. And now, if I jump back over here, grab this battery, put it in the one over here, do the same thing again. This one's relatively simple. He says. I, I mean, it might get harder. I played this game enough to now to know that sometimes they're easy, sometimes they are just evil. Pure evil. How am I supposed to get up onto that? Hmm. It's a bit higher than the other one. Am I supposed to? make myself a path using using the ones we have access to hmm, I can probably climb up on that one to maybe jump glide onto that one to then jump to this one that's going to be moving? There's probably a secret up on that ledge as well. If we leave this one moving, we can then use it to get over there. Okay, let's see if we can make this work. Up we climb. This is the harder part. Okay, it's not moving too fast. It's moving fast enough for it to be a pain in the butt, but... I don't see another way. There we go. I'm gonna hold on to the line so we can get that box over there. Maybe it's an outfit piece or something. It's probably going to be cut, so let's be honest, but the fact that I've seen it means that... Uh, oh, is that going to knock me off? Oh, shiver me timbers. Uh, oh, there we go, it's fine. <laughs> yes, it was 20 cuts. 20 cuts and a piece of scrap. Well put. Can I just... no. I was going to say, can I just glide from here over... 
Can I? Do you reckon I can make that? Hmm. Seems a tad risky, doesn't it? Let's play it safe. Let's uh, not stand on top of it so I don't get knocked off. Wait for us to go back under this, stand on top, and then jump down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that backfired miserably. I mean, it worked, but good lord. There we go, we got the door open. Oh, I got an achievement for something. I don't know what, because it didn't come up on the screen. Hello, Saren! Any mag bits, any scrap. Well, I don't see any scrap. But this does mean we'll go back to the whale after this, because I do believe this is the last one. I say hello to Saren. Sable, your security clearance has been updated. Please proceed to the whale to authenticate. You have unread messages, Sable. Here are your unread messages. The text on screen remains a mystery, but this time I barely look at it. If it's lost to me, then so be it. I want to hear more. This time, Captain Singh sounds different. Older. Up and running for 15 local years. I think that's about 20 in Earth time. Radiation levels are approaching critical and only rising. Between that and the lack of breathable air, even our children's children will need protective gear to do so much as walk between ships. Deacon finally gave up the ghost last week. Age. Nothing more. Just time. We've been lucky that way, I think. Guy never gave up on the corporate rescue mission. I'll give him that. It's stupid. Even if they were floating around up there, they have no way of getting down here, at least as far as we know. That stuff in the atmosphere. Who knows? Singh pauses for a moment and sighs to himself. Saren, I'll be shutting down your primary functions in order to preserve power. You'll be booted up once every few years to try and send some long-range comms, but that's a job I leave to future generations. But this way, you'll have enough power to sustain yourself for a few hundred spins around this star. Hell, maybe more if anyone can figure you out. There's a break, and I think it's over. But... I'm sorry things ended up this way. I had hoped better for us than to be stranded on a planet that wants to kill us but won't let us leave. Maybe you'll be able to make sense of this one day, but if anyone asks, in whatever century, tell them I tried my best. Now I need to go take care of my people. For what it's worth, sir, I quite like the masks. Sing laughs, and it's sad. But sweet. Oh, so is Singh the person who started the Abexi or started these masks? Thank you, Saren. Thank you for being here. Goodbye. The recording shuts off abruptly, leaving me wondering. I take a minute to collect my thoughts, and then I say goodbye too. No unread messages. Goodbye, Saren. There we go. Historical reconnection. We should go back to the whale. Uh, in fact, we are going to go do that right now. That doesn't answer the question of what this this closed door is, though. Oh, there's a big box of scrap there, and I haven't looted it. It's related. Maybe some of these doors just don't open, which I guess uh, would make sense. Never been a fan of closed doors. I always, I always kind of feel like they should be able to be opened. But this door, and huh? Wait a minute. The door that's... I guess it leads into this room, whatever this room is. Interesting. Right, let's fast travel back to the whale, otherwise it'll take me forever. I think this should get us the bike. Pretty sure. I'm guessing it's going to be bits for Saren, rather than a whole new bike. <laughs> I guess I'm upgrading to the uh, to the old tech model. Uh, you know, the Golden Age equivalent. Can't 
quite remember where, where I actually need to go. I think it's up. I believe it's up at the top. Climbing. I knocked a ladder down, didn't I? There's a ladder around here somewhere. Oh, oh no, this is a lift, isn't it? I think this comes all the way down? Well, let me find out. It stops just shy of me being able to grab onto it. I'm going to be very upset. No, there we go. And it's through that door over there. Sweet. Perfect. Almost like I knew what I was doing. Happens every now and again. It's better be cool. Better be cool, that's all I'm saying. Oh wait, is it through that door? Oh, I think both these, they both lead to the same room, I believe. No, god damn it, no they don't. It's on the floor beneath me. I've been tricked. Misled. I think I can just jump off and glide down. Perfect. Is it this room? This looks more promising. It is. It's Aaron, I need you to unlock the room, mate. I say hello to Saren. You've recovered data from all six ships on this planet. Thank you, Sable. I'm beginning to understand. Saren trails off, an edge of doubt betraying their otherwise emotionless figure. You now have full clearance, Sable, granting you complete access to the whale facility. If you could see the smile on my face right now. The bike in the chamber looks shiny and new, despite being ancient. I ask Saren if it's really for me. Yes, Sable. There is nothing stopping me from granting you full access to my facilities. Please, avail yourself of this transport device. I assure Saren that I will use it to come visit as often as I can. I say farewell to Saren. That's it, we finished, we finished historical recollections, I guess? So now I need to work out how to do these ancient race missions. Because I'm interested to see what that's going to be, but let's have a look. I what this thing is. Um. Whale, ship, bike, front. Perfectly preserved in the whale, the front of this bike is made from familiar looking metals molded with precision, impossible for humans to replicate. Kept in the whale for an incomprehensibly long time, as it switches states, the mechanisms glide fluidly and satisfying. Fluid. In a satisfying fluid movement. There we go, I can read. And an inaudible vibrating hum emanates from the sleek surface of this part. When you put your hands on it, it feels alive to every subtle movement made by the driver. Okay, well, let's go equip these. Uh, where is the nearest town? It would be Ecria, but Ecria's a pain. Let's go to Burn Oak. I like Ecria, but it's really big and I get lost. Hello, customized bike. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh my god, max speed is quicker? Acceleration is quicker? I mean, there is one small problem. It's not a boat. Oh my god, max speed is better, acceleration is better, handling is better. And then, uh... I mean, we could change the colour, but I quite like the, uh... Well, I suppose I could change, like, just the back bit. Oh, I like the orange. Can I change the front to orange as well? And keep it silver in the middle? I like that. I say goodbye to Atari. Alright, let's, uh... Oh my god. It looks like a scoop bike out of, uh... Oh my. Out of Star Wars. It's pretty bloody quick, apparently. And it makes a very, very strange noise. Oh, it's like a blah, 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 blah. But I love the way it looks. 
I love the way the, the um, when you accelerate the fins on the side go back and when you brake they go like sideways. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Ooh, oh dear. Of course I almost crash it. It wouldn't be me if I didn't crash it the moment I got it. Um. Okay. Well, I think it's probably a good place to end the, end the episode. It's a little bit shorter than normal, but uh, I guess. Oh, do you know actually? Do you know what? Let's use this bike. We'll give it a test drive. We're going to go back to that area we haven't explored, um, and then I'll save it there. And in the next episode, we'll carry on exploring that area. I have been told that I, sh I should go back to the worm. Uh, so I might look at that at some point. There's something there apparently that I, I, I didn't see. Um, yeah, I thought there might be because we found that note at the top of it, didn't we? Uh, in the mouth of the worm. So in the next episode, I'm either going to explore this area or I'll go look at the worm. If we can find something. Oh. Blimey, the only problem with it going so quick is it's not a very flat surface. I will admit, though, uh, it sticks to the ground a lot better. Like, well, it takes off and stuff, but it doesn't spin and, like, leap quite as much as the boat did. But there is, this, there is the small problem that it just isn't a boat. You know? It's like a space-age scoop bike, and I, I love it to pieces, but, uh, you know, I like boats. <laughs> Let's go around here. The speed is nice. I like the speed of this thing. When it's on a flat... It's on flat like this. Ooh, does it go. The noise is so weird. No, oh, I don't think I've used any of the dyes that I have. Unless I use the dyes to paint the bike then. I don't know. But I picked up all these dyes and things. I can't remember what they're for. They might be for my clothes. How do I follow this down? Okay, yeah. I'll know it when I get there. It's like, uh, it's blue sand, isn't it? Or like a weird blue sand. I could just fast travel to the ship, but I wanted to give the bike a good test drive. I actually kind of feel like the fast travel kind of takes away from the experience a little bit. I don't know if that's just me. I mean, obviously, I'll do it because it's expedient. But. I feel the game was designed with this nice chill music and, you know, big open areas, interesting landscape, unique art style. To just be, like, idly driven around and you look at stuff. And then, once you realise you can fast travel, you just kind of fast travel everywhere and you don't really... You find yourself doing this less. I don't know, that might just be me. That might just be me, but let's... Let's go over here, we're going to pull up. This kind of looks like snow, you know. I wonder what these birds in the sky are as well. I'm sure we're going to find out in the next episode. But yep, we got the bike. That was the main thing. I expected it to take a little bit longer, not going to lie. I didn't really expect the ship to be right. Oh, there's the cartographer's balloon. You see it over there? Wait, before we end, I'm going to... Do I need to do this? No. Am I going to? Yes. Uh, turns out it's kind of hard to. I think that was it. Yeah, it's over there. Oh, man, it rides higher. I think that's what it is. It rides higher. That's why it's so. Uh, more, so much more stable than the other bikes. But either way, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.